Hello, my name is Drew James from LearnGuitarInLondon.com and I'm playing Norwegian Wood by The Beatles. A uh, few things about the version that I'm doing. First of all, you can get the tab to this. Uh, I've included a link in the video description. Uh, the other thing, I'm playing it with a capo on the fifth fret. Now, the reason for that is that it sounds good for my voice. I've actually made it a little bit higher um, to suit my voice. But the original, you would have the capo on the second fret, okay? So I'm going to be teaching you how to do it with the capo on the second fret like the original. Also, um, to, so to play along with my video, which I've included a link to uh, above, then uh, put your capo back on the fifth fret. But really, it doesn't matter what I'm going to teach you. It doesn't really matter where the capo is. Uh, it's still going to be really good advice for being able to play the song and, and get all the notes correct. It's just going to be in a different key. Uh, without further ado, let's have a look and see how we play it. Before I start this lesson, um, I was sent some picks by um, dragonheartsguitarpicks.com and um, they're fantastic, really, really like them. Um, they're not for beginners, so um, I personally think they're, they're, they're a bit too solid, too rigid for beginners, um, but if you've been playing a little bit longer, then really check them out. I've included a link in my video uh, right now so that you can uh, click on that. Also in the video description, you can find out about them. Um, they're very, very solid, very unique, and the company's ethos is to make the best guitar picks ever. So you should definitely go and check them out. Um, they look like this, they look fantastic. They're really, really good. So to the lesson. So we need to learn this, this main riff, which is all based around D. Okay, so what you need to know about this song, first of all, is it's in 6-8. So what that means is, is that we're strumming like this. One and two and three and four and five and six and... And that's the end of a bar. One and two and three and four and five and six and... One and two and three and four and five and six and... Okay, so that's quite important to note. So let's get started on it. You're going to need a D chord. Uh, which is a ring finger on the B string on the third fret. This is all in relation to the capo, which is now on the second fret. In the video, I did it on the fifth fret for my voice, but second fret is correct for the song. Index finger on the second fret on the G and middle finger on the second fret on the B, okay? With that chord, you strum the bottom five strings, four strings, sorry. And we're starting the song with a nice little hearty pick heartier, see what I did there, right? So uh, the bottom, the middle two strings. That's what I want you to aim for with your strum, middle strings. So I want you to go down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. Do that again. Then with this pinky, instead of sort of tucking it behind your hand like this, I want you to get it ready and stretched out to play the fourth fret on the G string like that. Okay, so watch. Then put it down on the fourth fret on the G string, all the while leaving this one down as well. So actually this pinky is cancelling out that finger, but we want to do that because we're going to be going back to that finger quite quickly. I'll show you again. So, when you do this, I want you to clip the middle two strings to get that part. So we start off middle two strings, down, up, down, up, middle two, then lift it up to go back, but always doing the middle two strings. And then I want you to lift up the index all together. So we go, on the G string it goes, four, two, open. Then pinky, a little bit harder, keep your D down the whole while if you can. Put it on the fourth fret again, but on the G string. And strum the middle strings again. So we've got... I'll do that again. Okay, very good. And when we get to here, it's the beginning of another bar, so we're going to go down, up, down, up. Then we're going to go, I'm just going to put it all together. So now we're going to go 2nd fret on the uh, D string, 
strumming the, whenever we're doing this sort of changes away from the D chord, we're always strumming the middle two strings. Okay, I'll do that again. So we've got this four on the D. So it's two, then open strings, then four again on the D, and then open strings. So it's hope you've got that all the while I'm holding down the D chord so so far we have up the middle finger, leave the ring finger where it is, put it on the third fret on the A string, give that a pick, just that one string, and then strum the bottom three strings, then to the second fret on the A string, and then to a D chord again, and this time strum all five strings, bottom five, to include that A note. So it goes. And then the rhythm there is. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So I'll put it together for you. Now you know all the individual notes, nice and slowly, that whole riff, and I'll do it in a circle as well. is the chorus. So we're starting with a D minor chord, so that's index finger on the first fret, once again all in relation to the capo, on the bottom string, the E string. Middle finger leaving a gap onto the G string on the second fret, and then ring finger on the third fret on the B string. And we strum the bottom four strings for that. And the rhythm is this. Down, down, up, down. what I call a folk G chord. Leave the ring finger where it is, that's doing just fine from the last chord. Tuck your little finger underneath so that it's on the third fret on the G string, on the E string, sorry. And then index finger on the A string on the second fret and middle finger on the E string on the third fret and strum all six strings. Then you hold that for the same amount of time, play it for the same amount of time as the D minor. So it's go back to D minor, so leave that ring finger there. Top tip, okay? Leave the finger there if it doesn't need to be moved. We then go D minor. Same amount of times. To an E minor 7, once again leave your ring finger there and bring the index finger to the second fret on the A string and the middle finger tucked underneath on the second fret on the D string. Strum all six strings. That's all you do for the E minor, so it's a half bar, it's a shorter amount of time. So just down, down, up, down, up. Then we're going to change to an A chord. Second fret on the B, D and G string. I like to use my little finger, ring finger and middle finger because I find it easier to squeeze them all into the frets. If you don't do that, I suggest you try it. So let's do that whole chorus. I'll do it with a little bit of vocal and I'll tell you about changing chord this time. She has... There was 
thousand, uh, E minus seven. Two of those, A, two of those. So sorry, my mistake earlier, we're actually doing two bars. So one bar of E minus seven, then one bar of A. And then we're back into recap on that part of the lesson I'm not going to do the whole thing but I just want to give you a couple of pointers keep your D held down and it doesn't matter if you're finding it difficult not to just hit the D and G string with those parts you can be a bit sloppy with it but the whole point in it is is that we're actually letting multiple strings ring while we're playing all these individual notes with these fingers okay and that's what makes the song quite unique I think on top of that the riff is great Thanks a lot for watching this lesson. Don't forget you can pick up the tab over at my website, learnguitarinlondon.com. There is a, a link right now in YouTube cards being displayed above that you can click on to get to the tab. Um, I upload new lessons two a week uh, to my YouTube channel, so please subscribe. Uh, this lesson was brought to you by brightonguitars.co.uk. As ever, keep on playing. Have yourself a great day.